The campaign of misinformation in the U.S. has spread to the Philippines. As a result, penalties are getting out of control. Find out more on this edition of Industry Insider. Hello and welcome to another edition of Industry Insider. The Philippines has become the latest country to crack down on vaping in the wake of the so-called youth vaping epidemic in the U.S. following the first case of a vape-related incident involving a 16-year-old girl in central Visayas. Last week, President Rodrigo Duterte ordered a sweeping ban on vaping in public, threatening to use the police and military to enforce what observers in the country are referring to as a draconian order. If you're planning a trip to the Philippines in the near future, it would be wise to leave your vape gear at home as customs can even seize you at arrivals for possessing a vapor device. Duterte's incredibly harsh stance on ENDS devices is echoing out across the country as doctors and health officials speak out on television and online. In a recent interview with ABS-CBN News at the beginning of November, Dr. Marikar Limpin spoke out against vaping products, citing the CDC and FDA's, quote, research on the matter. Limpin made incredibly false claims and misinformed the public on a massive scale. At one point in the interview, she even claimed that one drop of e-liquid is equivalent to a pack of cigarettes in nicotine and chemical content. The Philippine National Police, in compliance with the president's verbal instructions, have threatened to arrest vapors in accordance with Executive Order 26. Unfortunately, EO 26 applies only specifically to tobacco products. EO 26 clearly defines tobacco products as those products made entirely or partly of tobacco leaf as raw material. Realizing that the president's orders do not have any legal leg to stand on, the PNP are now left with an impossible task of splitting hairs to explain that those who are caught vaping in public will only be brought to police precincts, for which a police blotter will be recorded against them. They will not be detained or fined, but only warned. Later, the PNP further recalibrated and explained that they would allow vaping in designated smoking areas. With a vast amount of confusion surrounding the topic, how do you think that the PNP and Duterte will move forward with enforcing these laws? And moreover, how will the people react? Please share your thoughts with us down below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell button to keep up to date with all of our Fight for Flavors content. This has been Nick with Industry Insider, and we'll see you next time.